one of the big questions that we ask kind of ourselves when we meet somebody new, when we're in an, a group of people that we've never met before, one of the first questions that's asked is, can you be trusted? We ask ourselves when we meet somebody new, can, can I trust this person? Well, that means people ask that question of us when they meet us for the first time or when, when we're in a, in a situation where we've got to work together, people will ask the question, can I trust this person? Can you be trusted? To achieve the progress that you want in your life and to see that progress through, you've got to be someone that's reliable, someone that can be trusted to come through on what they say and what they do. And a reliable person doesn't let things fall through the cracks. And so, you need to work on your trustworthiness, your reliability. You need to work on your own personal reliability so that when you are working with people, they know they can trust you. Because trust is so important to building teams, to building a business, to employing people, to advancing in your career, whatever it is, trust is so important. So how do you build your trustworthiness? How do you build reliability in yourself? Well, before you promise to do something, think about it. Take a minute, take a minute and think about it before you promise to do something because your time is precious. You need to make sure that you're spending your time in the most advantageous way to you, your company, your employer, whatever, whatever you're working on. If you always just go out there and say, yeah, I can do that, then you're actually saying no to something else, eventually. If you keep saying yes all the time and packing yourself and packing your schedule full of stuff, you will fall down on your promises. You will show up late. You won't get the job done. You won't get that report finished on time. So you need to be careful because when you say yes, you're also saying no to something else that might be more important. Next time somebody asks you if you can help out, if ask you to do something, take some time, pause, and consider if you, one, have the ability to do it, and if you have the time to do it. Sometimes we say yes because we think we can, and we want to show people we can do more things and better things, but then we find out maybe we really can't do it. Then we got to find out a way to get out of it, or we make excuses, and it affects our reliability. And the fact that we maybe can't be trusted to do what we say we're going to do. So, saying no, a lot of times, is better than having to break your word. Well, it's always better. Saying no, well, yeah. Saying no sometimes is better than having to break your word. Because it's better to say no, I don't have the time, I don't have the bandwidth, I don't have the knowledge that really is necessary to get it done, then to break your word and, and lose reliability. The second thing to kind of increase and improve your reliability is, it's kind of the same thing, don't over schedule. So many times we schedule way too many meetings and then we're late for them or we just can't get anything done because you know maybe you've got to drive across town to go to a meeting or you know it's it's in the next building over or you know we get so bogged down in our schedules today and logistics can just be a problem at times so don't over schedule if you over schedule and you're always late then people say well you know I can't count on them to be here when I need them so don't over schedule another thing you can do is plan extra time for your deadlines you know, when when we were in college or in high school, you know, you had a report to do. When did you when did you do the report at the last minute? When the deadline was coming? So many times though we set a deadline on a project and it comes a lot faster and we just needed more time. Truly just needed more time. Maybe because we were we were a little putting it off, but we just needed more time. So a lot of times tasks take longer than you think. So when you're agreeing to accomplish something or when you're setting a deadline to accomplish this task, this project, plan a little extra time before you set that deadline just to make sure you've got enough time to get there. 
One way you can do that is just create a weekly plan. That way you know every week what's coming up that week and make sure you've got enough time. Another thing you can do to help improve your reliability is ask for help. Yeah, truly. Ask for help. Because, you know, you're not a superhero. None of us are superheroes. We can't necessarily get it all done. And if you're trying to get it all done by yourself, you're just trying to prove to people that you're more than you are. And it, there's nothing wrong with saying, hey, this is bigger than me and I need some help. So ask for some help. You need, to, when you go looking for help, when you seek help on a project, or you go looking for resources that you don't have, you know what that really is? It's a sign of leadership. Because leaders understand that they don't have all the answers. Leaders understand that they don't necessarily have all the resources. And so they work to go find the right people and the right resources to put in the project to get it done. So don't try and be a superhero. Don't try and do it by yourself. Ask for help. Ask for the resources you need. And become more of a leader in this process. Technology. Technology can help. There are so many solutions with technology today for simplifying. I mean, for for meetings, there. I mean, yeah, there's Zoom and all kinds of things. There's and I don't know them all. Slack, uh, Microsoft Teams. There's all kinds of ways to be more productive today because of technology and these things that we have. They allow us to work faster and work smarter, and so we should use those so that we can get things done more quickly. And let's see, last, when you just can't get it done, own up to it, face the music, let people know, you know, I bit off more than I could chew. I'm just not going to be able to get it done when I said, give a sincere apology. You know, I'm sorry, I can't get it done. Can I have another couple extra days or another week, whatever, you know, if you've been putting it off because you procrastinated, shame on you, but if you've been pushing hard and you just need some more time fess up to it and say I just need more time I just can't get it done fix it as best as you can and then go in and get it done but the big key don't make this a habit if you make it a habit that you're always apologizing for not getting it done on deadline then your reliability goes way down your trust factor goes way down being known as a reliable person will help get you more opportunities in your business, will help get you more opportunities in your career, in your life. So work on becoming more reliable. Work on becoming more trustworthy. Become a person that can be relied on by others to do what you say and be able to deliver on the promises that you make. And that'll get you so much farther down the road. It'll get you so many new opportunities when people see that when you can be trusted, when they know they can rely on you to get the job done, they're going to ask you to do more. I'm Mark Schinnerer. I'm here growing your success. I hope you have a great day, and I'll be back and talk to you tomorrow.